transformation geometry, rotation. I want to transform this object anti-clockwise through point P1 to point 2 anti-clockwise 120 degrees. Now, first of all, you join P1 and P2 together. And then the angle you want to rotate at is 120 degrees. So as you see down here, every triangle has 180 degrees. So if 120 is your degree at the top, subtract 120 from 180 leaves 60. And you divide that by two, which gives you 30 and 30. And the 30 and 30 make up the base angles. They're the the base angles make up the difference at the bottom of the 120. So you have your line from P1 to P2. And to find our point of rotation, from P1, you construct a line at 30 degrees. And the same from P2, you draw a line at 30 degrees. And where these two lines intersect, they give us our point R, our point of rotation. So every point is going to be moved from here. So, using our compass, we start swinging down our points of relevance. So, you set your compass at, P, at point 2, and you swing an arc over here. But next you have to figure out where you stop your points over here. So, what I did is I connected point 2 to my point of rotation. And using a protractor on that line from 2 to the point of rotation, I marked off 120 degrees here, which gave me my point here, and I connected P2 to point 2, which is our baseline here. So it's just basically being moved over here. And I did the same for point 3, I swung it around, I joined 3 to our point of rotation, I marked that line, I marked off 120 degrees here, which gave me this point over here, and I joined to 2. The same with 4. And the same, the same with our center of our circle here, which is point seven. I'll just write that in there. And you bring all your points across, and I hope that clears it up.